Hey folks, it's Ralph with Stray Benzes. Today I've got a topic for you that the majority of us old Benz owners are all too familiar with. The engine overheats. It's not necessarily overheating, but it's uh, going above the 80 Celsius a lot, reaching 100, and the regular fan is uh, it's out of capacity and you still have the electric fan when it's not kicking on because the high temp switch only comes on at 115 to, uh, to drive the auxiliary fan. Here's a solution of how to kick on the uh, auxiliary fan a little bit sooner than that. There are all kinds of solutions that I found on the interweb that let you try install a different temp switch that kicks on at 85 Celsius and <laughs> <laughs> they are not around and especially the one that you need with a three prong one that has the uh, shutdown automatic shutdown for the AC system and there are all kinds of other things that mess around with the original equipment they let you install something in the water circuit as a temp switch or something like that here's an elegant way to get all around that and still let the auxiliary fan come on a little bit sooner here's the kit that I used to add an additional temperature switch into the circuit of the regular engine temp switch that exists on the engine. It uh, has a temperature switch set to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, cuts out back at 160. Here's the probe that goes onto this uh, switch. This probe gets pushed into the radiator coil and yes, I know some of the purest of you all cringe at this. It is, however, an awesome alternative than to mess around with the original equipment. And uh, it also comes with a relay wiring harness. Here's the part number from this company if you're interested. They go on eBay or some other outlets. And uh, I go into a little bit more detail about the parts that came with it. Here the details about the parts. It has a couple of zip ties. These could cable connectors that I'll show you where to install them. The foam pad for the temperature probe. The temperature probe extension that screws onto the temp switch. This is the little clip that holds the probe in place in the cooler. A couple of cable connectors and of course the relay with wiring harness. This diagram shows the plug with the relay and the wiring harness with the various wires and here is my adaptation sorry for the sketch quality but I had to make do with what I had here and what I did is I used the the uh, temperature switch that's installed up on the on the engine on the in the cooling water circuit so that's right there with the T-stat on the on the on the engine. I used the two wires that are uh, providing positive to the fan. So instead of connecting the wire to the positive of the battery and having to worry about extra fuses and and the like, I'm getting my my positive energy in here, and I'm getting my positive for the switch actuation, the relay actuation rather, that I'm connecting right here. And because I need to go to the for the energy to go through the relay, the plus needs to come over here and go straight back to the fan so it kicks on. That is where you do that and you use the provided cable connectors. And you don't have to worry about any of uh, these little things because you're not installing brand new fans. And thus, you don't have to worry about the extra fuses. Here's the finished product. There was a hole already installed on in the bay here. So I didn't have to drill anything. Used a, a screw to install my relay and the wiring harness, the plug for it. Ground I got here from the ABS holder. Just used the screw install the ground wire then I had to come over here install the temperature probe I used something else 
this nifty little stuff that you can get from any auto store that helps you cover up uh, wires so it doesn't look cluttered. You use an awl to uh, slowly but surely make and wiggle enough room in, in, the, in the cooler fins. Be very careful so you don't mess it up, but at least you need to have enough space for the round probe to go all the way through. It comes out here. You can barely see it. There's a foam pad that goes in front of it. The clip goes here and I put some additional insulation material here so the probe doesn't cool. And the positive wire and the, the fan power I routed through here, coming up all the way here to this switch. This is the, the uh, switch and the, the uh, connector here up here, the plug was so brutal it eventually came off. I still need to tape that off, but this is just also to demonstrate where the wires are. You come out here and then you use these wire connectors here to get your end positive to your relay and the the switch and here the other one needs to go back through the circuit or in the relay back up here so you can then provide the energy such that the regular fan comes on when the temperature is too high now depending on your engine model the cooler model you want to mount this probably a lot closer to the inlet the hot water inlet otherwise this may not come on at all or too late still but again it's a very elegant way you don't have to cut into the the water or you don't have to mess with that switch at all and it looks pretty darn close to factory standard which I love maintaining so good luck in wrenching and don't do as I did